Okay, hi everybody. Uh, Vincent. This is my uh, second uh, video blog. Way behind schedule. Um, but um, I'm going to uh, do uh, uh, just uh, kind of the stream of consciousness thing. I'm going to be doing my book review. Um, I have to uh, go do an errand and then uh, come back and do the video blog or the, um, the book review. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, a lot of transition going on for me. I just, um, last Thursday was my last day with Glass Dharma over on the coast, uh, kind of a sad party. Uh, they've become really, really dear friends and actually gave me the money to, uh, to stay in this program. And they're a little bit um, sad that um, I chose to uh, not work there uh, anymore. But uh, I just couldn't do the uh, do the driving, camping, uh, intermittent internet uh, thing, and stay up with the coursework. So this is just another uh, adjustment in my life to uh, make it possible for me to uh, to do this course. And so that's part of the errands that I have to do today is I got to go organize some uh, some work because I uh, have this new house and um, I have uh, about an eight hundred dollar a month. Uh, house nut to crack for utilities and rent and all the other things that uh, go along with having a home. So I do have to keep working, but um, um, uh, uh, hopefully, I'm, uh, uh, hopefully, um, it'll 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 work itself out. It's just it's going to take some time for me to set it all up, and so that's going to be my one of my main pro projects for the day. Um. Uh, I am organizing a Thursday. We have um, a, a group, a, a band called uh, Clan Dyken, D Y K E N, uh, and their um, brothers. Uh, I believe they live over um, uh, in the Sierras, out of uh, about of uh, Auburn, Placerville, something like that, here in California. But um, they uh, they are beginning their Beauty Way uh, tour, which every year. Um, they um, start here in Ukiah and they go up north into Oregon, Washington, and, and then down and they end up uh, in Arizona at um, Black Mesa and um, uh, Big Mountain, uh, where the uh, Diné uh, Navajo uh, people uh, are, the res down there. and. Uh, the band, Clan Dyken, they, uh, at every stop, this is a, a money-making tour uh, for them. Uh, they go, uh, they do their shows, and um, they have a, it's a very interesting uh, group, very um, kind of folk rock, um, and um, a lot of drums, and uh, they use the flute, the Native American flute sometimes. Um, but one of the things they do is they have a big drum uh, floor drum, four people work it, and they set the drum in the middle of the hall where they're playing, and then all the people form a circle, and the, they uh, they start drumming, and the people do a circle dance, and uh, it's a prayer, as well uh, as um, a little medicine blanket goes around, and people just empty their pockets of the change and the money. It's not a big deal, but everybody puts in a couple cents if they can, and the blanket goes around the room as everybody's dancing, and at the end of the ceremony, that blanket is folded up and wrapped, uh, tied, tied close, and goes in um, in a container. And uh, so as they go through their trips, all these these medicine blankets with the little gifts um, um, pile up, and they end up down in Arizona at the reservation, where they give the medicine blankets. Uh, to the elders, and then they are unwrapped there. And um, so, what I've done is I have managed to connect with them to take um, uh, some uh, choro uh, sheep uh, wool uh, down to the reservation. So I'm going to be starting to get that wool uh, from the the rancher uh, here into Ukiah. I will make my first trip today. We've got about 300 bags of wool. Uh, that are going to end up going to the uh, Navajo weavers and um, and managing to put this together um, 
um, essentially with volunteers. Uh, uh, there's no money exchanging hands. Um, it's, uh, this is all being put together by people who uh, just want to get the wool down to the weavers because they know that uh, they need that to make blankets and that's a lot of how they get their, their income. And so, uh, and I'm working to set this up. Uh, wool is available twice a year and this is part of what I uh, am going to try to, uh, to help arrange uh, so that people can get the wool. And also uh, kind of looking at, at uh, some kind of style of my capstone project. I know it's uh, in advance, but I know that I want my project to have something to do with um, indigenous leadership and uh, um, or birth wisdom. And uh, so uh, this is a way for me to get involved um, directly with uh, the today and Navajo grandmothers. Um, I'm going to have a list of names and numbers uh, to, to get in contact uh, with specific grandmas. And so I'm really excited about making that connection and getting these people to wool. Uh, and the Choro sheep is the, is the Navajo sheep. That's the traditional uh, uh, sheep uh, that they make their blankets from. And there's a local woman here that works with uh, disabled kids and uh, FFA and 4-H and other uh, ag programs. And so she raises these Choro sheep and um, shares them with the kids. And so each bag has, uh, some of them have little uh, faces for the sheep drawn on the bag as well. Each bag has the sheep's name and, um, and uh, some usually some drawing that one of the kids or the felt marker had drawn on the bag. You know? So it's, uh, it's very personal. Um, each sheep is separated so they could, because that choro has a lot of variety of colors and whatnot. So um, I'm, I'm just really excited about um, being able to, to organize that uh, and, and see that that's actually going to happen. So um, where, uh, let's see, where am I at? Um, you know, the classes, gosh, there's so much work. Um, I'm really happy that I'm going to be able to now take a little bit of every day, every day, every day, every day. I'm going to be able to work on this rather than, you know, go over and work uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then try to cram all my school into four days. Um, I'm going to be able to just, you know, catch up and stay on it a little bit every day, which is going to help me a lot. Um, I'm, uh, I'm really loving um, the overall coursework. Um, the systems, applying systems in a new way. Um, I'm still challenged by some of the, uh, the reading material because it's so based in, in uh, for-profit corporate America. But, you know, I'm getting over that and, and um, uh, looking, looking at uh, more creative ways to apply the same information but do it more in, in, in uh, the way I would uh, tweak it to make it work uh, for me. So that's that's good. It's good. Uh, appreciate um, uh, um, kind of being drugged back through this. Uh, like I've been last nine years. I've been pretty intense uh, on educating myself about uh, the levels of pollution and levels of unemployment and the levels of waste and carbon footprints and all that stuff. And so I really feel that on one level I have a pretty good handle on the state of the world and why I do what I do, uh, why I want to do what I want to do. Um, and, um, and so it's, uh, uh, on that level, it's great, but on another level, it's like, okay, let's get to the creative part because I, you know, I, I actually, you know, I feel like, you know, being a facilitator in both the Pachamama Alliance's Awakening the Dreamer, Changing the Dream Symposium, and with the work that reconnects with Joanna Macy, um, this pretty much, um, the information that, that we deal with and, and, um, uh, so anyway, for me, it's been a mixed bag with, um, you know, dealing with the pain of what I already know and the desire to move into something more creative uh, than, than that. And, and um, I keep reminding myself that this is the first semester and we're setting the foundation. Um, Alfonso has been really uh, good uh, at reminding me that. And, um, uh, uh, and, and so it's foundational. Uh, but uh, at the same time, I want to get to some good stuff, in which I really want to say that this book, uh, the Salsa book, excellent book. Um, I, I listened to Tiffany's um, uh, blog and, and uh, where she read uh, 
Moonrise, and it's like the same thing. I mean, it's like, I know we've got plenty of stuff to read, but um, somewhere in the two-year program, um, if one has an opportunity, um, read this also book. And I'm going to do my review on that, and I don't want to ruin the book for you, but um, I mean, this is something that I'm going to go back and I'm going to read a number of times because this is, uh, I'm so grateful, Alfonso, uh, for you recommending uh, that book because it was exactly what I needed to hear. It was exactly what I needed to read. Um, and um, it's exactly where I want my mind and my energy to go uh, with, with uh, my leadership style and what, the way I lead. Um, I find that I really resonated with that all the way through. Um, and um, I'm going to go back and visit that, uh, that book uh, uh, some more, again, for sure. And by the way, at Bioneers, you like kind of pop around. Okay. At Bioneers, um, I got a book. I don't know if you can read this. Um, it's called Original Instructions. And this is a book that um, is a compilation of, of uh, talks uh, from uh, indigenous leaders uh, through the Bioneers uh, uh, conference. And um, it's edited by uh, 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 Melissa Nelson. And, um, so anyway, this is another uh, a really excellent book that I'm going to get more into um, just uh, because it, uh, it resonates with, with the message I feel I have to bring forward and also um, it engages in the leadership styles that I particularly care about, which is the shared, uh, shared leadership, co-leadership. Um, I, I, I like playing with the non-leadership leadership. Um, uh, and uh, so this is these models are, are really where, where I am going to uh, try to focus my energies on. And um, what time we got here? Oh well. Okay, so uh, you know, uh, so much going on, so much going on. Um, I'm really jazzed about everything. I'm really happy. Uh, seeing people and hearing people and I'm starting to go back through now that I'm, I, I'm having more time um, to just go back and read through everybody's posts and I'm, I'll go all some of it's all the way back in September um, that I'm finally getting to and, and it's just remarkable what people are writing about and in, in, in the, already the movement that I see in not only myself but in other people here it's really remarkable and an incredibly good time and I'm so fortunate to uh, to be here with you guys. And so um, I've probably taken enough time. I will do my book review and uh, just uh, uh, let you guys know that um, I'm here and deepening my commitment and um, uh, making it more uh, possible for me to stay involved every single day which is really important to me. So I'm kind of with Aaron on that one. It's like, yahoo, you know, we're, you know, we're willing, not only willing, but we're able to, uh, to, to change our lives and make this work because we're so deeply committed to this. And I, I feel like I have a sister in arms with all of you. And thank you so much. And um, we'll be seeing you soon. Take care.